What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we're going to be looking at an alternative to tools like Obsidian and Notion for your note taking. This is a private and local AI personal knowledge management app where you can actually chat with your notes. You can use RAG with your notes and use either a local LLM like Olama or OpenAI Anthropic. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so here is the GitHub link for this will be in the description down below. And this is Rior right here. You can read about this project right here. Every note you write is chunked and embedded into an internal vector database. Related notes are connected automatically via vector similarity. LLM power Q&A does rag on your corpus of notes. Everything can be searched semantically. All right. And, you know, if you're familiar with maybe productivity or note taking, you've probably heard of tools like Notion or um, Obsidian, right? And they're good tools, right? There's pros and cons to them. All right. So the really good thing about Rome is you can host it privately, locally, and uh, you can use these AI features with RAG, the RAG embeddings. Um, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and install Rior. So how do we do this? Well, you don't have to run a single command if you don't want to. You can clone the repo and, and do this if you need to. If you want to, you can just install the dependencies and run uh, dev right here, npm build, and you'll be good to go. But you can also just go to reorproject.org, and the link will be in the description. And you just go to downloads from that point on. Obviously, whatever system you're on, whether it's Linux, Mac, or Windows, for me, it's Windows. You would just click on download Windows. For me, at least, I got, um, you know, something basically like a security warning. Do you want to continue downloading this because it's from a unknown site? You just say yes. Same thing when you install it. You just install it. Once you do, it's going to look like this. Okay, so it's going to say welcome to the Rior project, Rior is a private AI personal knowledge management tool. Each note will be saved as a markdown file to a vault directory on your machine. So you can select your vault, doesn't really matter where. So vault directory, your vault directory doesn't need to be empty. Only markdown files will be indexed. So you can use uh, a new vault or an old vault from say, uh, you know, that you're migrating over maybe from Obsidian. All right, then you're gonna select, you can select your embedding here, right? So you can either, choose these models there's three right here um the nova base large or small we'll just keep it base for now and you can also attach custom embeddings either local model or download a repo name not going to do that but you know there's options that you can experiment with and then llm so you can use a new or add a, a new local llm so we are automatically download an llm please rename an llm from the Olama library and paste the name of the LLM below. Um, please choose an LLM name from the Olama library, which is here. And then, yeah, so we recommended either Mistral Llama 3 or Phi 3. And, or you can also just use OpenAI or Anthropic API key or set up remote LLM. So just for the purpose of this video, just to save some time here, I'm just going to use an open AI API key. So I'm going to paste this in right here. All right. And once you do that, we can just select, I guess, you know, GPT 4.0 or turbo or whatever you want. I guess, well, there's 3.5 turbo and or turbo and then 4.0. We're going to obviously use 4.0 and <clears throat> local LM. So the setup. Okay. So we got all that. Now you can see it's set up. Now we're just going to click next. All right, so it's going to initialize our vector database. So this is really cool that it does the rag all for us. And now we're inside of Rome. And you can see here we have a note already. Welcome to Rome, or Rior, not Rome. Uh, Rior is a private, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's just kind of look at the interface. If I'm highlighting this, I can, what is this? So let's see. Uh, Okay, so first off, we have our files, then we have our chatbot. 
we have our semantic search and we have new note new directory and flashcard quiz all right so it's pretty good like it has the flashcard thing too for <clears throat> um not just taking your notes not just talking to your notes but basically like teaching you about your notes um which is really really cool so let's just go you know you could create a new directory let's just call this like marketing create all right um you can create a new uh note all this like test all right so we have our directory up here we can create another one sales okay you'll see these you can drag the notes under the, the specific directory or you could keep it in the root directory like we had it before all right now we are here let's go over and test this um this reg so we're gonna go over to chat and we're gonna create new chat so start a conversation with your nose by typing a message below so let's just ask it um so you could customize the context and search for files by name use a file by searching for it by right clicking or by right clicking in the directory we're gonna do that in just a second and if if you do do it this way you can set the contact settings the so number of notes added Okay, so they actually increased this. Um, so it looks like they've been doing some updates. It used to only be about, I think, 15. Now you can go up to 30. And then filter context notes by last modified date, any time, past hour. So you can filter it by that. Um, but let's just go ahead and ask this, like, what is Rome? Or Rior. I keep messing it up. So Rior. There we go. And Rior is a private AI knowledge management tool. Its primary goal is to serve as a thought enhancer rather than a thought replacer. Rior has helped users. Okay, so like look at that. And we can see the context used in our in the chat right here, which is our Rior note, right? So imagine if you're taking all notes, like you're taking notes on YouTube videos, you're taking notes on courses, you're taking notes on you know, whatever the case may be, right, throughout your life, you have it structured in different directories, and then you're asking Rior, hey, what is, like, this is really cool, and I'm actually really excited to start using this, because uh, I take a lot of notes, I don't know about you, but maybe if you're watching this, you do as well, and, um, you know, it's, it's like you take these notes, and then lots of times you don't ever reference them again, even if you have something like a, maybe a second brain, or um you know as they call it or whatever some sort of knowledge management system which you know i i have uh pretty in-depth ones but this is really cool right this is something where it can do reg it can uh you can chat with it now also too let's just say like i said before uh we'll show the other way so you can t this way talk and you create a new chat it will talk to all of your um notes right um, but if you go to files and let's just say you wanted to talk to a specific note and you're asking, like, maybe you have a long note, you want to ask specific questions about that note, like, um, like maybe a summary on a book. And then you want to ask it, uh, questions about that book summary that you wrote in the notes. Uh, then you just click, right click it and you click add file to chat. And then you can ask it questions about that specific note, right? So, and as you can see here, that's the note selected. It's showing right here. Um, and yeah, you can change the settings there as well. All right. So that is that here. You can just search uh, semantic search. So for your, so if we do that, it's going to come up and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's flashcards here. You can create flashcards or review existing flashcards. Call this test, write cards. We are working hard to generate questions. I mean, this actually, so generate, okay, so there is no file for that, but I mean, actually there is the file here, but I, there's no, there's no notes there, but it looks like it can actually generate flashcards for you. You can review flashcards. So pretty cool stuff guys, but that is it for this video. It's a very simple install, very simple tool, but actually very powerful, right? I'm excited to use this with also local models and test it out with different models, test out different embeddings and see um, what I you know prefer best and get this set up with some uh, of my notes from my knowledge base and start talking to it and uh, learning more um, from the information that uh, I'm gathering throughout the day. So, and like always guys, I, anything that I learn uh, improvements with this or 
just other tools to add on to this uh, or just any tools in general right if you're new to this channel we upload videos every single day on open source tools ai tools workflows automations marketing sales business growth etc if you're a business owner if you're an entrepreneur um developer ai enthusiast whatever the case may be tech person um this channel is for you if you enjoy this type of content so if you enjoyed this you got some value from here uh i appreciate you know um smashing that like button um and uh, you know subscribing and joining this uh channel we're trying to grow it um as fast as possible so yeah appreciate everyone showing some love and other than that guys if you're new here check out and you haven't already checked out our free stride community we have about 750 800 members in our free facebook group free discord channel so stridecommunity.com go check that out you can join 100 percent free get some value in there network with like-minded individuals and that like neck network with myself and other than that guys too last thing if you haven't checked out my book client acquisition code you can pick up your copy check that out link in the description down below other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care